Hey Hunter, it's Logan Stout here at Perkins Motorplex in Mayfield. Gonna walk around this uh, F-150 King Ranch we've been talking about. And uh, let me tell you where I'm at here. I'm back here where a lot of our surplus and delivery inventory is. We market this to Franklin, Tennessee, because uh, we are about to uh, put a dealership there. And so we've got a lot of that inventory marketed there. And then some of it is just extra. Uh, the American flag over there, that's where our traditional car lot is. And uh, this is kind of behind the scenes a little bit, but uh, here's that truck and man, I've walked around it, I've driven it. Uh, I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, it's got a couple spots up here, courtesy of a bird. Uh, so uh, <laughs> those aren't paint blemishes or anything like that. I'm gonna walk around it and try to point out anything that I see on it that uh, you need to see. We'll start with these wheels. Uh, wow, they're in really good shape. And you've got the brand new Michelin 20s, uh, 275, 55, 20 on the tire size. And those are 100% tread. You can still see the factory lining on them. So that is uh, awesome. Uh, some of these trucks, you know, all of our vehicles are used. They're all pre-owned. We always say they get grace, you know, because none of them are going to be perfect. Um, but some of them uh, sell themselves. This one falls in that category because there's not a whole lot for me to point out. As I, as I look down the driver's side here, no waviness in the paint, no major dings. That mirror looks good. Top to bottom, really, really nice. This wheel also in really good shape. Actually, looks like there's a little spot there. I just now caught that. Little spot there on that wheel. Back bumper looks good. Parking sensors. Straight ahead, everything looks good back here. Tailgate looks good. Spray in bed liner. Nice soft letdown. And I had a friend teach me once uh, a really easy way to check Fords, just kind of their history, is to look inside that step there and look for uh, rust and corrosion inside there. Nothing. Let's go ahead and look at this frame while I'm thinking of it. Looks awesome. It's so like I say, we do that under spray, that uh, seal underneath there, and it does seal it up a little bit. It's mainly for looks. Uh, we see a lot of trucks with like a red clay stain underneath them and it looks terrible. So we want that spray to uh, obviously color it correctly under there and uh and it does seal it up a little bit but rust is rust and corrosion is corrosion you're gonna see it if it's eat up under there and that one was super clean we'll do under the hood here in a little bit to finish it um before we do the interior driver's side or I, I should say uh after the interior passenger side looks really really good nothing 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 Across the hood looks great. That wheel is awesome. And that wheel is awesome. So really just that one's got a couple little nicks in it and that's it. Headlights, fog lights look good. All right, let's get to the inside where hopefully it's nice and warm. I've had the heat on. Back seat looks like it's really never been set in. Storage under there is great. Rear heated seats. These doors are all intact. That's always a good sign because we see these get ripped off frequently. Seat backs look good. Yeah, this is an easy one to easy one to show in video. There's just not a whole lot for me to point out as far as blemishes. Um, I'm gonna be a little jealous of this one. Driver's seat's perfect. Nice King Ranch floor mats. I noticed no floor mats in the back that I can see. So a lot of people are doing that big weather tech uh, long one anyway, but uh, nothing in the back. It's just got the nice ones on the front. Driver door looks good. That's a classic Ford thing. Your wedding ring's gonna uh, hit that and uh, create some scratches there. A little scuff there at the bottom. Again, that's me being really picky with the used vehicle. Looks like an XM subscription is still active on it, so that's good. Enjoy that while it lasts. Probably a previous owner. Let's see if we can get 
the nav to pull up here. Yes, and that's exactly where we are. 34,000 miles on it. It's gonna qualify for that factory type total care, which is great. Uh, let's check this screen out. Of course, you got the big double roof here. Wanna make sure there's no stains or anything on the headliner. No rips or tears as well. And that's coming all the way up. Perfect. Little discoloring back there. I am tickled to death. It smells great. It smells like leather. It doesn't smell like smoke or animal or anything like that. Let's hit some of these cameras. Perfect. Adaptive cruise, of course. Steering wheel's in great shape. Your side lights. Heated and cooled front seats. Just got the one key fob for now. The remote start feature does work. I use that to start the vehicle. Love it. Uh, owner's manual and stuff still in the wrap. That's a great sign. Accessories in there. This thing is ready to go. If I can get that to shut like it was. All right, we'll do under the hood and finish it. Let me know uh, what other questions you have as we uh, finish this up. But that factory type total care is going to be clutch in this case uh, because it covers even the technology of the vehicle. Like I said, touchscreen, backup camera, parking sensors, um, all of that. Let's see if I can do this one handed here. I've done enough of these. You would think I'd be able to do this. call in some support here. I don't want to stop the video because then I'd have to merge the two videos together. I feel like they hide it on the boards. There it is. All right, we look through the inside. My coworkers hear this joke all the time. I don't know an alternator from a radiator because it's true, I don't. But I can look through the just the windows that the engine bay gives us and I can uh, point out any signs of excessive rust or corrosion and you can see just how clean this thing is. It's awesome. No knocking, no ticking, sounds great. Um, gave it some gas earlier, sounded good. Yes, let me know what other questions you have. I don't have a whole lot of complaints on this one. Inside and out, top to bottom, front to back. Uh, you can be as picky as you want. This truck is super, super nice.